Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Now it has been a little while since I have uploaded anything on my channel and that's because things have been a little bit eventful in our household over the last couple of weeks. Um, my intention was with Baby Finley to film regular weekly updates and monthly updates of his development and how he's been doing and how he is and also how I'm recovering from um, obviously uh, birth and uh, labour etc. Um, but like I say, things have been a little bit eventful. I'll go into a bit more detail in, in the video for you. Um, but if you are new here, my name's Jessica, I'm a mum of two, uh, Finley, who is two months old, and George, who is four, um, and I post, uh, I was going to say regular content, I'm probably irregular, although I'm trying to be more regular since being on maternity leave, but obviously with the things that have happened, I've sort of uh, not filmed anything, um, but I post motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning content over here on my channel. So if that sounds like the kind of thing that you enjoy, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it's completely free. I'd love to have you as a viewer. Uh, and if you are already subscribed, hi, thank you so much again for uh, watching my videos and supporting me, I really appreciate it. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with today's video. So please excuse how I look today. I feel like in the viewfinder, um, I look really shiny and sticky. And that is because it is like 30 degrees outside. Um, Britain is going through some kind of heat wave, I think especially the southeast of England, which is where I live. Um, it's just so hot and it's only supposed to get hotter over the next week as well, which is great because the kids can play in the garden, we can get a little paddling pool out. Um, but I feel like we're never happy with, with the weather as British people. If it's too cold, we're whinging. If it's not hot enough, we're whinging. Um, so I'm just trying to be grateful for this lovely sun that we're having. Um, but the video then today is going to be a two month update then for Finlay. Um, and that's probably why you clicked on the video, because the thumbnail says it's two months. Um, so like I say then, obviously there's been quite a lot going on. Obviously I'll go into that in just a moment. And um, as always, I've got my phone here with a list of things I wanted to go over, because I don't really want to miss anything out. And I have really bad baby brain, so yeah. So starting then with little Finley, I'll go on to myself in a little bit. But I want to talk first of all about feeding. Um, in the last update I did, which was either a one week or two week baby update, um, I was talking at the time then about how I was expressing my breast milk for Finley. I wasn't breastfeeding for whatever reasons, I tried it with George, didn't enjoy it, I didn't get on with it and it made things really difficult um, in terms of like bonding with George and connecting with him, plus with him being in intensive care it was really difficult to keep up a regular supply. Um, so. Breastfeeding was kind of out the window for Finley, but I was really happy to express my breast milk and feed it through a bottle for him. Um, so a couple of weeks ago then, that is what we were doing. He was having my breast milk throughout the day. I was expressing regularly, and he'd have a bottle of formula at night time just to ease it off a little bit for me. Um, now, it started getting really, really difficult. So I actually developed mastitis, and oh my goodness, it was so painful. My breasts was so engorged, they were leaking, it was sore, it was like one, it was like the worst pain I think I've ever endured, it was so, so painful. Um, so I also had antibiotics, that cleared it up, but it also made me just feel really down and I wasn't enjoying expressing anymore. I was expressing every two to three hours and obviously feeding him in between that and I just felt like I had no time to do anything with him. I didn't have time to spend time with George. I wasn't spending time with my partner as a family. I just felt like I was constantly expressing, feeding, expressing, feeding, expressing, feeding. And um, I did it for a good four, five weeks, I believe. Um, so he got all those good nutrients in those first few weeks, which I'm really happy about. Um, but we have now stopped expressing. My milk has completely dried up and we've moved on to formula. And he's doing great with formula, you know, there is no difference really in how he is between formula and breast milk. So it's been kind of like the perfect transition really. Um, he is on anywhere between four and five ounces, anywhere between two and a half to three hours. Sometimes can stretch to four hours, especially at night time, he does go a little bit longer. Um, but he is just a guzzle guts and he eats so much, he loves his food. Um, and you can tell because he's starting to get a little bit weighty. Um, um, so yeah, feeding, he's doing absolutely amazingly. So a couple of weeks ago then, we had our appointment with the health visitor um, to get him weighed, check off, see his measurements, see how he's doing, see how I'm doing. I think it's a six week 
um, health visitor postnatal checkup. I think everyone has that. Um, but she discharged us from there and we won't see her now until between nine and 12 months, she said. Um, but she weighed him and he is now, probably a little bit more now, um, but a couple of weeks ago, he was 11 pound three ounces. So he's put on a good three pounds since birth. And like I said, you can definitely feel it because he's starting to get weighty and he does look a little bit, not chunky, but he is starting to fill out a little bit and look like a baby and not so much a newborn anymore, which makes me a little bit sad. Um, but she did also measure his head circumference and also his length. She said, I believe that he was on the 91st centile for his head. So he's got a big head. Um, he's got a big brain, I think. So like my partner, not like me. And um, he is on the 70th centile for his length. So again, she said he'll probably be quite tall. Um, again, taking after my partner because I am quite small. Um, but both George and Finley look identical to my partner when he was little as well. Um, all three of them just look exactly the same. It's kind of freaky. Um, and I wish after carrying both children and having to take the children out of me and going through that process, you think that they would like to look like me just a little bit, um, but no, they've taken all my partner's genes, which I'm absolutely fine with. Um, so yeah, obviously with him getting bigger then, we've gone up a size in nappies, we're now in the size two nappies, still using loopy loo nappies because I used them with George and just found that they had no leaks. I spent a fortune the first few months with George when he was wearing pampers. I spent so much money on nappies and then I found loopy loo nappies. Part of me was a bit apprehensive to begin with, you know, it's a really cheap supermarket, the nappies are so cheap, they're like £2.50 for a huge jumbo pack. I just thought, no, it's not going to work. But we had no leaks in them, it was incredible. So I started them for Finley as well. So we've gone through all the size ones, we're now up to size two. And also with his clothes, we're no longer in size newborn or naught to one. We're up to naught to three months now. Um, and I feel kind of sad because I kept all Finley's clothes were George's. Obviously, Finley has so much new stuff as well, but I did keep all of George's nicer bits um, that he only wore a couple of times and they were in perfect condition. I washed them all and ironed them and, and cleaned them all, so they were ready for Finley. And I feel really sad now that I'm not keeping these clothes for another baby because we are finished at two. Um, but I just feel a bit sad that I'm going to be getting rid of them. However, I have found that there is a website called Vinted, I believe, that I can perhaps sell them on on there. Um, really cheap and maybe help someone out that's in need because the price of things at the moment are ridiculous. And if I can help someone with some cheap baby clothes, then, you know, that that's perfect for me. So I will sit down and organise Finney's clothes um, and look at getting them sold at some point over the next couple of weeks. So obviously, like I say, Finley is eight weeks and a couple of days old today. So he had his six to eight week postnatal check with the GP. It was literally on the on the eighth week. It was on the day that he turned eight weeks. So I don't know if they're backlogged or if they forgot about us, um, but that went absolutely fine. We spoke to the doctor. In a previous video, and obviously throughout my labor uh, story and my birth pregnancy vlogs, sorry, my pregnancy videos. Um, I spoke a little bit about how Finley had a bit of a condition with his kidneys where they didn't drain properly. Um, and he is on antibiotics to prevent urine infections. And he's on antibiotics now until we see the consultant in September. Um, so we have to make sure as his weight increases, the antibiotics are also increased to keep up with his weight. So I had a chat with her the other day about that. Um, and she increased his antibiotics from 0.8 mil every day to one mil. And it's just a liquid syringe, tastes a bit like aniseed, which is really gross, but he's amazing at taking it now. It's, we just do it before a feed, um, and yeah, he's fine with it. Um, also at that check, then we had his vaccines as well. Um, of course, I cried. Who doesn't cry when their kids have vaccines? I remember crying for George, and only one parent was allowed in, so obviously I went in because I also had my postnatal check at the same time, so it just made sense for me to stay. But he was amazing. He cried a tiny, tiny bit as the needle went in. Um, and obviously as they pushed the liquid in, I think that's the painful part. But he was absolutely fine afterwards. He settled down really quickly. Had a slight temperature for a few days afterwards, but that's quite normal. Just sort of um, soothed that with some uh, paracetamol and lots and lots of cuddles from his family. Um, but he's feeling so much better now. Um, and all vaccined up. I think he has another lot of vaccines in four weeks time. Might send dad along to that one so I don't end up sitting in the doctor's waiting room crying, although it probably has something to do with my hormones because they are also flying everywhere at the moment. But again, you know, eight weeks postnatally is kind of normal. So um, I'm going to give my, cut myself some slack there. So then the thing that I wanted to talk to you about really about where I've been and wanted to update you on with Finley 
was um, we've had a little hospital stay for Finley. Um, he was in hospital for about four or five days as an inpatient um, after numerous a &E visits. So um, we visited a &E twice because he was so snuffly. He was coughing a lot, but he was really struggling to breathe. So he was really sucking his chest under his ribs and you could physically see. And um, if I can, I'll insert a video here so you can have a look because it can be quite dangerous. Um, at first I didn't think anything of it, but then it got so much worse. And I remember it from George being told to go and get checked out. So that's, as soon as that happened, we went straight to A&E. Um, so yeah, obviously he was sucking his chest and under his tummy then, and I was just quite worried. He was really sleepy, he wasn't eating. So we went to Amy a few times, they sent us home, kept going back, um, and eventually they then admitted us and decided that he did need to go on oxygen the, the whole time we were there. And it was really scary actually that he was on this oxygen tube, um, and it was 100% O2, you know, he needed that because his, um, his stats just kept dropping. Um, I didn't really know much about um, oxygen levels, like um, is it pulse oxygen levels when before I went in, but they say that they really want it anywhere between over 94, 100 is the max, but it kept dropping down to like 86, um, and you could tell that he was just struggling to breathe. So they kept him on the oxygen pretty much the whole time we were there. And they kept weaning him off the oxygen slowly, um, but his stats then just kept dropping again. So we were in hospital, like I say, for about four or five days, just being monitored, trying to um, get him feeling better. When we were in the hospital, they decreased his feeds dramatically. He was fed through a tube for the first few days because the sucking motion of drinking milk was really making him tired and made him struggling to breathe even more. Um, so they fed him through a tube which was really, really scary. I remember George being fed through a tube and I hated watching it. Um, so doing it with Finn, it just broke my heart. Um, but then once they took the tube out and he started feeling a little bit better, we reduced his fees down just to one ounce. So um, it, was, it wasn't so difficult for him then to suck that milk in and just get him building it back up again to where we were. Luckily, I was allowed to stay in hospital with him for those four or five days. Um, we had our own room, he had a lovely cot, I had a nice big bed, um, and the staff were amazing. But it was a really difficult time. I hated being away from George for the whole time as well. George also hated it. He really struggled with us being away, as he, he has some struggles anyway with speech, communication, development, etc. So for him to sort of adjust to having a new baby at home and having me not pregnant anymore for us then to disappear again he really did struggle with that um but we're home now he is still a little bit poorly um the bronchitis is gone I don't believe he has RSV anymore but he is just a bit snuffly when we were at the doctor's the other day she did listen to his chest and said it's all up here not in his lungs um which is great so she said if it does get worse go back but it's just normal snuffles that will take a little bit longer to actually disappear. So some developments then that we've noticed. He has been smiling so much. If I can, I'll insert a little clip here or some pictures or something of him smiling. Um, but he is such a smiley little boy. Any time of day, if George is doing something in front of him, I know babies don't really see or understand what's going on, but if George is sort of, um, you know, trying to make him laugh or tickle him, he does give us lots of smiles. In the morning when he first wakes up, he gives us lots of smiles, and it's such a lovely heartwarming thing. I was so shocked when he smiled because George, where he was premature, he didn't smile for much longer, um, so it was so nice that like six weeks when Finn started smiling, it just warmed my heart, it was lovely. And he's also starting to make a lot of noises, like cooing noises as well, and I think we're almost getting to maybe like a little laugh because when he's smiling he starts to make a bit of a sound um so I think we're almost there with laughing or sort of giggling at least as well um which I can't wait to hear because baby giggles are just makes my ovaries hurt I love it so much um, he has been doing lots of tummy time, learning to hold his head. We've noticed he is really, really strong. So he's so good at lifting his head up and keeping it there. But also his legs are so strong as well. He was laying on his mat on the floor the other day um, on his tummy and I was laying with him. And he was genuinely pushing on his legs and moving himself forward. I don't remember George doing this for months. Um, I couldn't believe it when he kind of moved a little bit. So I can't leave him anywhere now, just in case. Always have to keep an eye on him. Um, but yeah, he's developing so well. Um, there isn't anything really that I'm concerned about at the moment at all. 
um, but he is just doing amazingly. The last thing I wanted to speak about quickly was his sleeping. So he sleeps really well, put him to bed about half nine, ten. That's when we do his last feed and his antibiotic. And then he'll sleep all the way through until maybe three, four, um, where he'll then have a bottle and then he'll sleep through till seven. Um, and as you can see, he's quite a peaceful, sleepy baby anyway. Um, but when he is awake, he is very awake and alert, which is great. Um, but that is pretty much everything. I feel like I've just uh, rattled on for like 15 minutes or so about how Finley is um he is perfect he's amazing I couldn't love him anymore um so that's it really then for Finley obviously I was going to do a very quick update on how I've been so obviously we are now eight weeks postnatal post postnatal postpartum, postpartum c-section, I think that's the right word, um, I'm feeling so much better, still get a little bit of pain in the incision site if I overdo it, and um, we recently just went on holiday, that's another reason why I haven't filmed or uploaded anything because he was away, and I was really just enjoying our time as a family of four, um, but obviously being on holiday, walking around a lot, I did start noticing a little bit of pain in my scar, however, nowhere near as bad as it actually was, my hormones have settled, I'm not crazy, or not at the moment anyway, um, but I have recently gone on to the mini pill, again, to try and regulate my periods and things. Haven't actually had a period yet, so that's coming up to nine weeks. Um, obviously, I did bleed quite heavily, plus I was expressing, so that may affect periods, etc. Um, over, you know, so many weeks, but um, I'll just keep an eye on the period thing. If I get worried, I'll speak to the doctor. But I know the mini pill can actually stop your periods or make them irregular, um, so I'm not sure where I am with that sort of thing, but I'll probably make an appointment and speak to the doctor about that at some point anyway. Um, but that is pretty much then the update for myself and mainly Finley really for the last two months. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a viewer. Um, and I think this is where I'm gonna end today's video. I'm gonna go pick George up from nursery now and I think they're actually gonna go to the zoo. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day and take care. Thank you, bye.